Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, November 21st, 2024. You know, for a long time, we've accepted that uh, famous movie stars need double stunt doubles when they do an action movie. And by the same token, I think it's pretty well understood that there are times when someone who is important for security reasons needs to have a stand in for them. But I sometimes refer to people as 2.0s, and I've had a number of questions. I dismissed some of them as simply being from trolls or bots that said, what is a 2.0? Now, if this is old news for you, stick with me because we're going to take a rather wooish rabbit trail dive down into the topic later in this video. But I just want to cover the basics. When I talk about a 2.0, I'm talking about a public figure who is being portrayed by someone. Now, it could be on a temporary basis, like I said, because of a security concern, a scheduling conflict, something like that. So we have stand-ins that can wear the, the masks or they can create a CGI likeness that we can't discern the difference nine times out of 10, and it's soon going to be 99 times out of 100. And uh, there's other ways that we have stand-ins. In the previous uh, eras, people took uh, uh, heads plastic surgery procedures to look more like someone so that they could be the double. I think some of that still happens today. Now today, with some of the technology advances, we're hearing that the deep state even employs the use of clones for someone. And the uh, and again, word on the street or in alt media communities, whichever you prefer, is that the white hats don't do that because that does violate some basic galactic laws. We can make exact tissue matches, but you know, our human soul that is so precious to us, humans don't have the right to transfer that. So when they create a clone, it doesn't have a soul, which means it doesn't have the uh, moral compass and ascension possibilities that would be inherent to being a natural, fully human being. Okay, <laughs> so we know what a 2.0 is. It could be simply, like I said, a stunt double type of situation or a situational uh, representer. And, uh, or maybe, you know, like I think when they had uh, 46 fall three times going up the stairs, I think they employed a stunt double that was really known well for physical comedy. Now, did that same stunt double appear other times? Possibly, you know, I'm just using that for an example. Now, as I look around in our complicated world, I'm seeing more and more public figures and political figures that are being represented by a 2.0. This indicates to me that there has been some um, progress taken in the tribunal possibility that people are subject to, no matter what your status is, civilian, military, or whatever, here in the United States especially, um, you can be tried by tribunal if you have been found guilty of crimes against humanity. Now, until such time as disclosures come out, to the extent that they're going to come out, they have people or CGI representations of those people so that it looks like on the surface things are going well. I think the deep state kind of started that because they didn't want um, any of their minions to know that their ranks were diminishing. And I think the White Hat said, you know, this is probably a good idea. Let's do this and then we'll keep cleaning house. And uh, it is until we get down to the bottom of the barrel that people are going to get clued in and wised up. Well, I think we're getting close to the bottom of the barrel because more and more people are. So on the off chance that you asked a question about what is a 2.0, you've now got it here. You've heard it from me. Uh, like I said, I think some of those that had that question to me were just simply bots trying to waste my time. But if you genuinely had a question about what that was, there you go. Now, I've been thinking about those 2.0s. I thought of how many, and I don't want to start enumerating names. But I would like to ask the universe kind of a wooey question about them. Now, I want to be very specific. I'm not going to ask about all 2.0s. If they're situational, they're on contract to cover while so-and-so's at a <clears throat> at a, some sort of a, you know, peace treaty talks in, you know, <laughs> in an obscure location or something, that's a temporary stand-in. I don't want to talk about those, but I know of a few on the global uh, plane who have long-term walked into the role of the person that was a 1.0. And I was wondering about those. I thought, 
So if we were trying to, I know I have to be very careful when I'm doing a tarot read about a 2.0 to say the person seen in the public eye so that the universe can kind of focus in on exactly who we're asking about. So we don't get muddy responses of, well, 1.0 did this and 2.0 did that and 3.0 did that. Which one do you want? <laughs> but I wondered if you fully, you being a 2.0, if you fully step into the role of long-term, into the role of someone who has been consequenced, say. What happens to your life path, your karma, your your destiny? Um, you know, the, uh, the way that uh, astrology can so accurately, oftentimes once you know exact time, date, and place of someone's birth, I mean, are these people represented by their original birth chart or are they subject to the one that they are portraying? And I just wonder what's going on with these 2.0s. I also wonder if we have, and this makes sense to me, it might to you. Again, I told you this would be a woo subject. So if it's getting a little woo for you, go away, <laughs> come back when I'm a little more current events and, and pragmatic. Okay, so if the white hats don't use clones, because of decency, ethics, integrity, and galactic law, or some combination of the above. What if we have some galactic friends who are part of the alliance, the White Hats, because we do have, in my opinion, Laura's view, we have off-world friends who are helping us with this conversion of our world from dark to light, from 3D to 5D, that we've got friends along the way, okay? What if some of those have a capability to appear to humanize, and I know that this is this is possible, what if some of those that have the ability to uh, shapeshift have offered to play a part for us long-term? So I wonder if that's a possibility. So that's gonna be the yes or no element to my question. And then I just want some insights you know, about, I, I talked with one person that said, oh, absolutely, uh, um, the universe finds the name and can tell you, yeah, that they're absolutely becoming subject to the astrology chart that would have applied to the 1.0 and, you know, other things that they do. But let's ask the universe for insights and information about that. So here we go. <laughs> Our yes or no element is, is there accuracy and truth in the thought that some of the long-term 2.0s are being played by off-world friends who may possibly have some shape-shifting or camouflaging abilities, plus additional insights and information about those 2.0s who permanently or for the very long term are playing the part of a 1.0 who has been dealt with in some way. So let's uh, ask the cards. I'm going to change the camera angle so you can watch me do the final shuffles. And we'll find out together. Again, our yes or no element is about, is there truth in this thought that they the uh, long-term 2.0, some of those are uh, actually off-world friends who are playing the part and can do it quite well without having to uh, do what the deep state does, and that's employ those non-sold clones for parts. I want to find out about this, and I thought I'd wait and do it with you. So let me uh, change the camera. We'll find out. Okay, deeply woo about version two or more <laughs> of uh, public figures, political figures, world unappointed leaders, <laughs> wannabe leaders, former leaders. Okay, so the yes or no element is are some of those long-term uh, players, uh, 2.0 players, are they actually being played by off-world galactic friends, members of the Alliance, um, and additional insights and information specific to the long-term 2.0s? I can think of uh, several that have been in position, very powerful positions for years and years, um, and are fulfilling, you know, the uh, the life path that the 1.0 would have had if they hadn't taken a wrong turn, or two or three. So we want insights and information about the long-term ones, not the ones that do it for a day, a week, a, a, a one appearance, whatever it might be.
Let's see what we got. Okay, <laughs> once again, we got the two of wands showing up. Then we have the page of wands, one of my unofficial white hat cards, the tower, 10 of wands, eight of pentacles, nine of cups, and death. What an interesting spread. Okay, let's talk about what these cards are saying as far as our question goes. We, uh, I don't have uh, any indication that we're getting a no here at all. I do have, uh, I think the universe was happy to discuss the, the long-term 2.0s with us. We have out of seven cards, we have two that are major arcanas. They're the biggies, though, a couple of the biggies. So we have the uh, two of wands talking about, and we were asking about 2.0s. So, you know, the uh, universe does sometimes have kind of a dry sense of humor. But the uh, two of wands has been showing up as we talk about our world going off on a new path. And we were saying that some of these uh, stand-ins, these 2.0s are doing this because our world is changing and they're just kind of marking, you know, time and um in place until such time as we get the uh, hopefully quite a few disclosures. I hope there's not people too many people that are allowed to have a legacy that didn't rightfully earn it. The um, page of wands talks about cautious discovery besides being a white hat card. Okay. And optimistic. So yeah, we're getting a, um, we're getting told that we are discovering something with this question that we are discovering. Yes. We have some off world friends who are playing parts for us so that the, uh, uh, the Alliance, the White Hats, could play the uh, the game of having good quality stand-ins when the need arises. So that's cool. You know, we've heard that there's a couple people that might not be dead that we thought were dead that are masters of disguises. Well, apparently they're entire races who are masters of disguise, at least to the human eye and the, the light range that we're able to see and, and the... Uh, um, the decibels that we can hear. <laughs> so uh, they're not finding it very hard. It's just like how we can, you know, we can fool a two-year-old that we've stolen their nose. <laughs> I think some of these races find us that easy to, to fool. Okay, now the recent past, we have the tower. Yeah, talking about when someone's taken a big fall, when they've taken a fall, they come and stand in for them, okay? And we were asking about the long-term players, and that's being indicated here with the 10 of wands. Also 10 in Roman numerals looks like an X. So I think it's also a nod to the fact that we've had a long-term 2.0 in the uh, uh, platform known as X, e Elon Musk 2.0. So yeah, I've had people ask me, is Elon Musk a 2.0? I think the universe chose to give us this information. Again, we got the X, we got the 10. It's a long-term um, this one's whoever's playing this part is going to do it for the rest of what would be the perceived life path of the original Elon Musk. Okay, it's a lot of hard work. It absolutely is. It takes some skill. And uh, so we're talking about skilled labor. And we need to thank these people. Even though I'm tired of having stand-ins play the part of originals, and I'm anxious to just get dismiss them and have real humans in real human roles and accountable immediately for their actions or lack thereof. So I'm anxious to have the 2.0s go away, but I do know they serve a useful purpose. I'm just hoping that the days of that purpose are very, very limited and going away. Okay, now the uh, uh, Nine of Cups, again, uh, the job when taken on by some of these is very satisfying and it's nice that they can, um, in the case of someone, do positive things where the 1.0 would not have. Now we have 2.0s again that are clown, the uh, the deep state that are nefarious and, and clones. So I'm talking about the 2.0s that are long-term. Um, and so we get a, a nod here that yeah, it's satisfying work for them. And that uh, the, uh, the change in our world that necessitated the use of 2.0s has been a long time in coming. It, but it looks like with the tower moment here talking about, yeah, some have had a fall and then 
for the duration of what would have been their life path. Otherwise, they someone came in and it's a considered kind of, I think, kind of a satisfying um, role to take on and do well and to do good and uh, fulfill. The uh, death card just says that, you know, it's it's part of this long change we're making as, you know, we go from the end of an era for our world um, and for human race to be finally uh, healed and sorted out and freed and able to actually start growing towards the potential we were meant to have all along. Let's get a few more cards because this is kind of relevant. It's about our world. I know it's woo, guys, but it's about our world. It's about the human race, and I find it very fascinating. Well, there we have our yes, Ace of Wands showing up, um, and it's kind of working in conjunction with the Five of Wands. Then we have the Empress and the Hierophant. <clears throat> so a lot more Major Arcana showed up. Now we've got two more showing up with these final four cards. The Ace of Wands, again, is our yes, that we have off-world friends who are playing the part of some of the long-term 2.0s, including the uh, hint we got here that one of them is Elon Musk. Okay? The uh, need for them is hopefully going to be rather temporary in nature. Now, temporary by the universe standards in human may not be the same thing. I'm hoping that 2025 is the end of the 2.0s. That... Um, that friendly, off-world friends could safely reveal themselves and be accepted and not harmed. And uh, so I'd like this to be temporary. But again, with the universe, what they view as temporary, maybe years down the road in our, you know, in our reckoning or how we perceive time. Now let's look ahead for the last two. We have two major arcanas. We got the Empress, which talks about just a, a very loving, nurturing spirit. It's often about the uh, bringing forth new life. And we are in the process of, again, being healed and allowed to go forth with our lives in ways that previous generations didn't have because of shenanigans. The Hierophant's a major um, card. It does indicate kind of a wisdom to it. Um, it's not my favorite card to see, actually, because I kind of, it, it talks about, you know, trust and obey. Don't question, just know that those above you have the answers and the human race needs to be moving away from that and saying, you know, well, thank you, but I'm going to do a little research and find out for myself if I agree with those answers. And uh, and I think th that's the right way to go. As our life goes on, we need to uh, do, yeah, proceed with some wisdom and, and clean up the lies in our history books and the um, stifling of human potential and allow it to, to move forth, but do it with some wisdom so we don't repeat a cycle that should never have happened to start with. So that's what I'm getting with these cards. <laughs> okay. Let's recap. <laughs> what a read. Whew. Okay. I was uh, curious about the 2.0. So at the start of the video, though, I did go through kind of a, a general explanation of what a 2.0 is. And uh, this way, in future comment sections, if someone comes in and says, what's a 2.0, uh, we can just simply direct them back to this video. And please, viewers, feel free to do that. Uh, I think some of those people asking that question are just trying to waste our time. They're bots and trolls. But if someone's genuinely confused or just starting to wake up, you know, let's let's treat them all with grace and that, that'll shut down the trolls. They have nothing else to say. And if someone that's trying to get up to speed, it gives them the information they need. So we asked, when we went into the woo element of a 2.0, we talked about how some are 2.0s for a long period of time, have been for years. There's a, a world leader I'm thinking of in particular, and uh, there were a few others that have long term stepped into the role. And I wondered, do they step into, when they step into the life path, do they kind of step into the destiny of them too and the... Uh, um, outcomes and you know and then those of us that use esoteric means um, or soft science I consider astrology to be a soft science because it is based on you know heavenly objects uh, I thought can we how do, how does it work as far as the 2.0 if Joe Baker <laughs> agrees to be 46 for two years you know or longer <laughs> um, do we go by Joe Baker's, you know, life path or this one? But he steps into the role and he steps into it so completely. There does seem to be, we did get a yes, that they do have, um, they, to some degree, the path that they're on 
is different than what their own would have been and it can be tracked and followed. So we can, we can continue to look into public figures, those who are in the public eye with esoteric means and get to that. We just kind of need to be sometimes specific, at least in my world with tarot, it's just specific that we're asking for the one that's seen in the public eye. It may not be that essential if you're looking with other means with a pendulum possibly, or, you know, the astrology you can, because it, they may focus more on the name. But when several have had the name, I want it to be known that I'm asking about the one that's doing the deeds in public, you know, and be, needs to be, you know, responsible or for, since they're acting in that person's stead, we need to know about what they're doing. So it was interesting. First of all, we had the uh, two of wands and the two of wands talks about, you know, as you're stepping in, first of all, we were asking about 2.0. So it's a two, the only two card that showed up in the day, in the, uh, uh, read was the topic. So I thought that was kind of cool, kind of a, you know, a little tip from the universe. And again, as our world is doing some changes, it was necessary to do this. It was deemed that way by those who had a lot more access to information than I ever will. And uh, so they've done it. And yeah, we were asking about the white hat long term. And that was what we got the information about because we got the, uh, the page of wands here. And this is a card of discovery. So yeah, we're discovering some truths about the 2.0s. Now, one of the truths we found out that, and again, the universe has kind of got a droll and literal sense of humor that I personally love. <laughs> The reason passed was the tower. So yeah, when they've taken a fall, <laughs> a 2.0, if they're important enough where their life path is uh, um, needed enough, you know, the, the white hats do employ the use of 2.0s. And, uh, uh, and these are the long-term ones that will be doing so for the duration of that original 1.0 person's life path. Now here's where, again, the universe got a little droll. I've had people asking me as Elon Musk, being portrayed by an off-worlder and <laughs> platform X. <laughs> and yeah, he's been played and played for the rest of his life path by someone who uh, didn't really originate on planet. Now, if that card had been by itself, I wouldn't say that with as much authority, but let's look at a few of the other cards that showed up because this isn't a musk read. This is just a long-term 2.0 insights and information type of read. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the process of acting, speaking, and behaving in a manner that's uh, very similar to the original is very skilled labor. And it looks like actually the uh, it's kind of an honor to be asked to do that because of how important it is to get our world back on track and healed and what have you. So it, it's satisfying long-term work and long-term by our estimation, maybe not by those who are doing it for us. The uh, death card just talks about this long, slow change the earth has been engaged in. And, uh, you know, again, by human reckoning, it's taking a long time to resolve. But by universal or galactic measurement, not so much at all, especially then if you get into the whole fact that time is not even real. <laughs> okay, but I need it. I was raised with it. I'm used to it. So yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of still think in, in time management ways, I am getting a little more adept and I hope you are too at realizing it is kind of a false construct. And so I can send my energy back in time as well as forward in time. So I've done that for people that I neglected to pray for. I've sent those prayers back. I, you know, I, uh, uh, I'm learning how to disregard what we thought were the constraints of time. I hope you are too. Okay, we got our hard yes, which is why I felt confident saying what I did about the Ten of Wands, indicating the Platform X and the person seen in the public eye as Elon Musk as being a 2.0 and one who is currently and has been for quite a while played by someone who is a, an off-world friend. The uh, uh, situation, again, for using these, at least as far as um, the universe's reckoning is... is uh, really not going to last that much longer. Fives are temporary situations. And I think this is also a nod to the fact that while you and I that are awake that didn't recoil at what was discussed in this video, aren't going to be uh, in shock and awe. It, you know, when this news comes out, it is going to cause some consternation. They do need to be careful. And heavens, if someone from off world has agreed to help us, the last thing they need to be is in danger for doing that. We need to just thank them and just realize we're part of a, a very diverse playground. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Then the last two cards just it's part of the restoration and the world is uh, healing and growing and life abundant life is coming our way and uh, and it's doing so in part with the uh, divine feminine coming into balance with the divine masculine and then just a, a word to the wise literally word to the wise be wise as we move forward with our world and make discoveries about how much different it is than what we were taught, use some wisdom in what you accept, what you reject, and how you react, okay? Especially if, we've had, if we owe someone a thank you because they've done a good deed for the human race, let's leave it at that, okay? All right. Well, that's it for this video. And I thank you for going down a, a rabbit trail with me. And uh, thank you very much for watching my videos and being subscribing and liking my videos and sharing them. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, if you're willing to receive it, until next time, I send you love, light, and I wish you everything bright. Bye.